by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh. So his body, his flesh, opened up the entrance to the holy places. And it's the blood that allows us to step through that threshold. It's a miracle. So we're going to take the bread, the body, the flesh of Jesus Christ. Jesus, we thank you. And we remember what it is that your broken body did for us. Because your flesh was flogged, marred beyond human semblance. Because you bore those stripes on your back. Because you took on the wrath of God. You satisfied the wages of our sin. Your torn flesh tore the veil. Jesus, your body is the doorway into the holy of holies. And we recognize that. And we thank you that we are baptized and grafted in to the body of Jesus Christ. So Lord, we take this bread, your flesh, and we eat it just as you commanded your disciples. You said, we must eat your flesh and drink your blood to have share in you. So this morning, Jesus, we take your body that was broken. We bless it and we say thank you. We receive it in all of its benefits and we come to the doorway that is Jesus Christ. And we say thank you. So let's take our bread and eat it. broken body takes us to the threshold and again your blood your blood now allows us to step through Jesus we thank you you are the Lamb of God Lord we understand that the law required that perfect blood be shed in order for us to be fully ransomed and reconciled to our Father Jesus, we understand that there is no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. You couldn't have died just an ordinary death. It couldn't have been death by suffocation or death by poisoning. Lord, your blood had to be shed in order for our sins to be forgiven and forgotten and removed. Your word says, Lord, blessed is he whose lawless deeds are forgiven. And we say, thank you, Lord, that our lawless deeds are forgiven because of the precious blood of Jesus. So we come up under the blood of Jesus right now and we stand before the door that is Jesus Christ and we allow you, Lord, to sprinkle the blood upon these vessels for worship and we now step through into the throne room of our Father reconciled with confidence knowing that we are now holy and blameless because we have the righteousness of Jesus Christ. That is the gospel. That's the good news. This is what you did, Jesus. We are righteous because you have given us your righteousness. Again, we are baptized not only into the death of Jesus but into his life and resurrection as well. That's the gospel. There is peace through the blood of Jesus. So we're going to drink of his blood this morning. And we're going to let it permeate our entire beings. We're going to let it wash and cleanse and perfect our conscience this morning. Jesus, we take your holy, perfect, and pure blood. We drink of it in remembrance of what you did on that cross so that we could be washed clean and forgiven. We receive it. In all of its benefits, Lord, we come up under the blood of Jesus Christ right now. We drink and we say, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Let's drink. We've been bought with a price. We belong to Jesus. So everyone, come on, let's just say thank you, Jesus, for the blood and the body. 
thank you, Jesus, for your cross. Thank you, Lord. You not only went to the grave, but you walked out of the grave, Lord. So we bless you, holy God, and we thank you, Jesus. And until you return, we proclaim your death in remembrance as we take this communion, Jesus. We're grateful people. We say thank you, thank you, thank you. Worship team, thank you. Oh, man, I love church. I love you all. Thank you so much. I won't forget the wonder I found you brought. Deliverance with the exodus of my heart. Because you found me, you freed me. Held back the waters for my release. Oh, Yahweh.